The committee hasn't deliberated on that, so I can only share my view. I really don't see why we'd have to call the Prime Minister. Um, I think we're losing sight of what the report really is about. Uh, we're looking at the processes in the in the in the um, in the Immigration National Department, what went wrong, and what we can do to fix it. Um, we know as a fact that um, a decision may have been taken. I don't know where a decision was taken to do away with that. I don't know the reasons for that, but um, I think we should be look we should look forward as to what our recommendation will be in that regard. Um, we know it was done. I don't think there was any devious plot behind <laughs> behind it. Um, so we should be looking as to whether we recommend that it, it should continue or whether we feel comfortable that it, it, the status quo would remain. I, I, we haven't even heard from the department now as to what it's, it's been doing. As far as I understand it, there are many, many things that have come up in the course of the inquiry which the department has already addressed. And for my part, I'm looking forward to hearing what has been done since the uh, emergence of these um, these issues in the department, what has been done to correct it. And I, I feel that um, that for me would be b more beneficial than some of the things that we've heard. So it would be safe to say that the current Minister of Immigration, who I think was Minister at the time of this, Godwin Hulls, who has not been heard from, I think he told us from back in May that he had been subpoenaed, uh, he hasn't been called, and the current CEO, um, sorry, the current Director of Immigration, uh, Diana Lock, would be among those witnesses that you mentioned would be heard towards the end of August. Yes. It I would have heard from from Senator Hulse already, um, and he's definitely going to um, be asked to to come. And from my understanding, he is willing to come. Um, he's just waiting for us to let him know formally. I don't see any merit calling back Mr. Middleton. I think the usefulness of his testimony, if if any, has already been presented. Um, we we already know the scenario. Um, within the department, within what, what transpired. For me, I have a very good picture of what was transpiring. Um, I don't see it as my duty to catch anyone, any, any, any pers particular person in a particular lie. Um, I am more looking at more of a macro level as to what transpired and what recommendations can be made. Um, if at any time, we feel the, the, the view is that any witness has been untruthful. That is not a place for the committee. Um, the DPP, the Director of Public Prosecutions, will have transcripts of everything that has transpired. Um, she is the one who determines who is prosecuted in Belize. That is her constitutional role. And um, that's her prerogative to decide whether there is enough evidence for her. Um, to go against anybody. Has she received um, certain of those transcripts? Because I think um, Middleton was one individual who uh, it was said would be uh, referred to the DPP, uh, former Minister and Penner is another. Um, I, I think there may be one or two others. I can say that um, a decision has been taken to forward all in evidence before the committee to the DPP for her determination. Um, whether she has received it, I'm not able to say. I can only say that we have decided that um, she is to receive um, the, the transcripts.